In this video, we're looking at how to find the volumes of both spheres, which are tennis ball or football shapes, and hemispheres, which are basically spheres that have been cut in half. To find the volume of a sphere, we use the formula volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. So if our sphere had a radius of 5 centimeters, then its volume would be 4 thirds times pi times 5 cubed, which would give us 524 cubic centimeters. Now, because a hemisphere is just half a sphere, its volume will be half as well. So to calculate the volume of a hemisphere, we can just use the sphere formula that we used before, and then divide our answer by 2. So if the radius was 5 centimeters again, then we'd still do volume equals 4 thirds times pi times 5 cubed to get 524 cubic centimeters, but then we'd have to divide the answer by 2 to get a volume of 262 cubic centimeters for our hemisphere. Another way to work out the volume of a hemisphere, though, is to use its own formula of volume equals 2 thirds pi r cubed. And you might notice that this is exactly the same as the volume for a sphere, except it has a 2 here instead of a 4. So basically, because we've halved the 4 to a 2, the overall volume will be half as big as well. So it gives us the volume of a hemisphere rather than a whole sphere. And to show you that it works, for this hemisphere, we're to do 2 thirds times pi times 5 cubed, which would give us 262 centimeters cubed which is exactly the same as we got before. So the takeaway here is that it's completely up to you whether you want to use the sphere formula and then half your answer, or use the hemisphere formula. Either way, you're going to end up with the same answer. So just do whichever one you feel most comfortable with. For something a bit harder now, let's have a go at this question here. This time, we're told that a sphere has a volume of 113 centimeters cubed, and we need to calculate its radius to the nearest centimeter. So if we take our formula of volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, we're trying to work out the radius r this time. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is rearrange the formula to get the r by itself. To do this, we can multiply both sides by 3, to get 3v equals 4 pi r cubed, then divide both sides by 4 pi to get 3v over 4 pi equals r cubed, and then finally cube root either side to find that the cube root of 3v over 4 pi equals r. And now that we've got r by itself, we can plug in the volume of 113 and work it all out. So the cube root of 3 times 113 divided by 4 pi, which if you put the empty calculator will give you 3. So the radius is 3 centimeters. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.